If Manto was here today, that's what he would have said. कि सत्तर साल में कुछ नहीं सीखा. You want to go back to that time where markers like religion were used to divide us. So I think that's what that's what he would say. So um, uh, Nandita's book is, of course, based on the remarkable movie she made in 2018, uh, over a seven-year period of tremendous amount of work. Uh, but what makes it truly timeless and remarkable is that it speaks to us now. Uh, it's as if you have made it now. And the dedication to the book, which is equally a labor of love and persistence and uh, hard work, says to all the mantos of the world, which I think is the most marvelous uh, tribute I've ever uh, read. So, who are the mantos of our world? Well, when I was doing the dedication, I was thinking, who would I really like to dedicate? Why have I made the film? Why have I written the book? And I've throughout the journey, I've said that one of the reasons I made the film was to invoke the manto yat in us. You know, I've always believed that we all have that manto yat. And what I mean by manto yat is this will to be, you know, pursuing truth, the will to be more courageous, the will to be more free spirited. That is what manto represented for me. He's not just the man, the writer, but manto, the idea. So I thought it would be very apt because there have been mantos through all eras. आज भी हैं कुछ जेल में हैं कुछ को मार दिया कुछ प्रोटेस्ट पे बैठे हैं. So I think this book really is for them. I wonder what would Manto say to the Bollywood of today? The the <laughs> book that he wrote actually called Ganje Farishte. Yeah. I think that's what he would call them now. I think. <laughs> The original title was Ganje Farishte. In English, we had to sanitize it a little bit. Stars from another sky. But I prefer Ganje Farishte. Totally. No, but I would say that today the film fraternity, I've always been on the fringes of it, so I can't speak for others. But more and more people are speaking about it, as we know. You know, they are saying they do not want another partition to happen. If Manto was here today, that's what he would have said. That he didn't learn anything in 70 years. You want to go back to that time where markers like religion were used to divide us. So I think that's what that's what he would say. And it's so remarkable that he uh, his alma mater was Aligarh Muslim University, and well, it also yeah it started at M yeah. A M U. Um, but what has been so amazing is that so many people have come out, and this Kaveri, without mentioning, is really talking about the protests that are happening today against NRC and CAA, which is very divisive right now. And we all, I hope everyone here agrees that these are times to bring us closer and not, you know, divide us. And in In fact, the reason I did the film, the primary reason was that I wanted to respond to everything that was happening today. But also, the conversations were getting so polarized that I thought, is it really worth doing a film about today? I'd rather take refuge in something that happened 70 years ago, and something that still speaks to the same struggles and concerns that you and I share. And in fact, that was the reason to do the film. And in many ways. To share the journey of making the film is the same. It's not just the creative journey that's been put in this book, but also the socio-political journey that I've had in those six, seven years, my emotional journey, and everything that went into making this film and bringing this story to all of you. Uh, for you, art really is uh, personal as well as political, because I can't recall a single film. Well, maybe a couple, <laughs> but you. But they were done for the right uh, reasons. You <laughs> yes. know, as actors, actors are perceived to be larger than they are. <laughs> We don't have that much in our control. So sometimes you think film is he hogi, and it ends up being a different thing. But yeah, for me, uh, acting or direction were never a profession or a career or a dream or an ambition. They were always sort of a means to an end, and that's why whether it was the films I chose to be part of or the stories that I wanted to tell. they were just means to wanting to share those concerns and you know those stories and that's how both firaq and manto were born but we saw in manto's case art also led to so much suffering i mean at the end he had to check himself into the mental asylum for alcohol re uh, rehabilitation 
Has your art, has your response ever made you despair so much that you feel, my God? Yes, I mean, there are days, I'm sure like all of you, you know, we have more optimistic days and we have more pessimistic days. Um, but I'm primarily an optimist. I do believe that things will change. Brecht used to say that, will there be singing in the dark times? And he said, yes, there will be singing of the dark times. So I do believe that we just have to be at it in whatever work that we do, as long as we have a conscience, we will, we will make those small differences. After all, everything is a drop in the ocean. You know, I've never thought Manto was going to be the best film or the worst film. It's one of the many films that will come and go. But the thing is, you and I are also impacted by the books we have read, the films we have watched, the people we have met, everything sort of that goes subliminally into our subconscious. That is what makes us who we are. That is what impacts our responses. And I know that in my own journey, I know I'm, a, I'm the same person, the core values are the same, but I am different today. I'm not as angry as I used to be 20 years ago, 30 years ago when I was in a protest. Those things disturb me as much. I'm still maybe too idealistic, but I'm less angry. I mean, anger is also a form of violence, especially these days you see violence in so many forms, from social media violence to actual violence to everything in between. So I think there is, I mean, art, art is important. Art does allow you to express. And if it wasn't, then the conservative, the orthodox, they would never be threatened by it. In fact, they remind us how important art is by banning a film, by censoring a book or, or whatever. They remind us that art does have the power to make that difference. If you've enjoyed the conversation that you just heard, do subscribe to our channel for much more.